Now, answering the call with Nick Vandergrat. It's Easter Sunday, 1917, and the Canadian Army is assaulting Vimy Ridge. Amongst the thousands who throw themselves into the fight is an officer by the name of Major Thane McDowell of Lachine, Quebec. He struggles to advance across the ripped up battlefield along with a couple of battalion messengers and succeeds in taking out two enemy machine gun posts with hand grenades. One of the enemy escapes and flees for an opening leading deep into the honeycomb of tunnels that lie beneath the surface of Vimy Ridge. Now Major McDowell realizes instantly what this can mean. If the German gets away, he will undoubtedly bring reinforcements. So without another thought, the Major draws his pistol and races off after the terrified enemy soldier. Fear propels both men deeper into the hill, running for their lives. The first to escape and get help, and the other determined not to let that happen. The Major comes full tilt round the corner and slides to a stop in a large room. It's full of soldiers. 75 very surprised German soldiers. McDowell does the only thing he can. He orders them all to surrender. And when you know it, they do. Now the only thing keeping him alive is the fact that the enemy believes he has a platoon just out of sight around the corner. And he has no intention of correcting them, so he yells orders over his shoulder to the fictional troops while holding his revolver steadily at the Germans. He counts them off in groups of 12 and sends them up to the surface where they're captured for real this time. For his quick thinking and bold action, Major McDowell wins the Victoria Cross. Major Thane McDowell, another Canadian that answers the call.